Like nature, art binds us. It brings us together. Art and nature both allow us to reflect, to think, to meditate, to find ourselves. I think the combination can be very impactful. Nature is like living art all around us. Houston Audubon is building on the successes and accomplishments that we've had over the years. Continuing to create safer skies, um, healthier landscapes for the birds that we love. It's one of the most significant investments I think we've made recently that have allowed people to come in and be inspired is the McGovern Canopy Walkway, which takes you through the treetops. We launched the Bird Friendly Spaces program which is allowing us to connect to communities and schools and businesses all over the Greater Houston area. Over 9,000 plants as part of our Native Plants for Houston program were grown at our Houston Native Plant Nursery. And we're building capacity to meet the needs and the demands of more native plants with the opening of our Entergy Coastal Native Plant Nursery in High Island. So our Lights Out for Birds program expanded this year statewide. Um, over 40 buildings participated in turning their lights out during fall and spring migration, and we're expecting even more to participate this year. We're advancing our interest uh, in engaging more diverse groups. We've forged relationships and partnerships with Sunnyside. That's a historically African-American community in Southeast Houston. It's really exciting to see the level of interest um, and engagement with Sunnyside citizens, and the schools. The Raptor and Education Center this year welcomed visitors to new improvements and amenities. We launched a new kayak platform that provides greater access to Sims Bayou um, and the additional improvements allow people to connect directly with the riparian forest area there. Our education birds are true ambassadors. We have adults that come from actually all over the world who have never been four feet away from an owl or a hawk. This year will culminate into the completion of the Morse Field Station, and we're really excited about that. As people become aware and realize how critical this whole region is, they really appreciate the role that birds play, and they catch that, that spark. So the first experience I had with Houston Audubon was a raptor photo shoot. Marianne brought out the first bird, Rocky, and. I mean, I got goosebumps, and then, and then it just kept getting better. Nature's the artist that breathes through me. I'm a three-dimensional sculptor. I mean, nature certainly is three-dimensional. Walking through the sanctuary, the light, the line, the shadow are prominent, primary elements of my work. I enjoy making realistic art because I like to try to capture the beauty of nature in my artwork. I like to use watercolor and acrylic paint, but I also sketch a lot. We tell them to channel their inner Audubon, and, and it's amazing what the kids come up with, and the adults. I'm proud to do murals for Houston Audubon, and I'll keep doing them. 50-foot one at Houston Audubon's Coastal Operations Center. That one took a couple of months of weekends to do and incorporated a lot of my high school students' painting. I've always had a lot of respect for vultures and just wanted people to be willing to see them in a different way. And I really feel like this piece just kind of expresses the crazy, wacky nature and, and playfulness. So this was whenever I first started to become interested in creating artwork of birds. This was a common kingfisher that I made. I call that the 100 birds of Texas. It's all about putting the birds in the regions. I made this at Art with Raptors. I made it using tracing paper and a photo. And then I painted it with my watercolor set afterwards. When I worked on the Flohanna sculpture, it's made from steel and bronze, and I basically looked at native plants and native grasses and came up with iterations that I saw that were a reflection of those. Like the cone flower is, is definitely one that I tried to represent in there. I feel like maybe if I make beautiful paintings of nature and show it to other people, they'll be able to acknowledge it beauty and how important it really is and that might inspire them to protect it. For me metal, whether it's bronze or steel or even stainless, comes from the earth and is I think a, a nice connector between Mother Earth and, and people and the, the work they can do. The awareness of how important nature is to us, it just evokes the response of wanting to protect it. 
The work we do is very meaningful, and we could not do it without the community of volunteers and supporters um, and staff who all believe in our mission. Houston Audubon is honored and proud to be a voice and champion for birds. We need them, and they need us.